Hello and welcome to another Raggies um, beer review. So today I'm going to Cheddar Ales for their potholer. Um, potholer. We drive around Nottingham Street, it's full of potholes. Bottle condition, golden ale. Um, dogs clawing at the door. Cheddar Ales brewers, Brewery nestles on the slopes of the Mendip Hills in Somerset, overlooking the famous Cheddar Gorge and produces a range of quality artisan ales uh, using only the finest raw materials available. Potholer is an award-winning golden ale packed with zesty fruit flavours and a rounded hoppy finish, brewed using the finest marisotta and crystal malts with a blend of English Challenger and Styrian Golding Whole Ops. There you go, there's the beer, 4.3%. There we go. So yeah, back in the house because the shed is absolutely freezing and a little bit lively there, the pour was. Bottle condition, so it's probably me, I've probably agitated it, shall we say. Look at that lovely crystal clear golden pour. It's finger and a half of head on that. Look at that, looks the looks the job. Oh, lovely citrusy, zesty. Oh, first ever beer from this brewery. So, cheddar ales. Cheers. Um, I am Raggy's Beer Reviews. I try to do uh, decent reviews, hopefully. Oh, it's that time to warm up, come in from the shed. And... Um, as you know, for me, modern traditional beers need to be slightly warmer, I feel, uh, and, and certainly shed temperature. Be beautiful aroma coming off this. Like I say, first ever beer from this brewery, bought for me by the good friends, uh, Happy Drinkers, Andy and Angela. I'm absolutely sure it was, because I've never been anywhere near Cheddar Ale, so I'm sure it was them. Really good zesty um, flavour. Mm, quite the kick on the zest. Mm. Fill in the mouth for flavour. Yeah. Now, I probably will get some of the bottle condition out of it there. There you go. See, see, I always know we already seen it was crystal clear. Now the the uh, sediment, this bounce bit, if it's bottle conditioned, 99% of the time, there's going to be a slight bit of sediment. To be fair, it still looks a great pour. But the good thing is, in that sediment, there's more flavour. So in some ways, you know, you don't want it, but in some ways you absolutely do. It's a delicious beer. Um, like I say, you can just get a swirl round. Well, that swirl does it. There, you can see a little bit of the sediment. So, you know, if, if that bothers you, leave the last little bit. Um, if it doesn't bother you, then you'll enjoy what is probably the best bit of the beer because of the concentrated flavour that's in there. As a home brewer, who has brewed beers literally uh, 16, 17 years, uh, it doesn't bother me to have a bit of sediment and it's still a lovely looking beer. Um, <clears throat> 
not taller. Yeah, really good, really nice zestiness. Uh, enjoyable, really enjoyable. Um, for me, it's got 4.3 out of 5. And uh, a nice beer nonetheless. And uh, I'm hoping to get, um, get Google to take me a photo. Otherwise, I'll have to scrounge a photo off the internet. These things happen. First ever beer from the brewery, though, so great. Thank you for watching.